Fight taking on the challenging East Coast Blizzard. Don Coombs here, Glenn Littlejohn, and here's your lineup for your Tri-Pan Osprey. Ring number 66, from Harbor Race, Cameron Byrne. Ring number 74, from CBS, Christian Cole. Alex Crane wears number 9, he's from Bay Roberts, and his fellow pal from Bay Roberts wearing number 91, it's Nicholas Crosby. Watch out for Nicholas, he's a sniper, small in stature, big in a player, and big in a herd. Adam Curry wears number 31, he's from Carnville. 14 is Adam Dawson, and he's, you're going to see a lot of boys time by Adam tonight, and he's also from Bay Roberts. From Bay Roberts, it's Ian... Ian Drover, and he's from Bay Roberts. Bay Roberts also was Kyle Fowler. Jacob French wears number, he's from Bristol's Hope, he wears number one. Sit number seven is Adrian Green from Curb Near. Number 18 is Jesse Harris from Bay Roberts. Curb Race, Jonathan Dawson Johnson. Jacob Kendi wears number four, the little uh, fire plug for this uh, Tri-Pen Osprey team from Carabineer. We've seen a lot of him on our stream. He's a good hockey player. Wearing them from Carabineer also, it's Ethan King. Number 88 is Dar Darren Laundrie from Bay Roberts. Jordan Mercer playing D. Gavin Pitcher is from Placentia. He's our only player from Placentia. He wears number 83. Jordan Quinlan is from Bryant's. No, it's, so he's from Bay Roberts. From Bryant's Cove, very number 10. It's Christian Reardon. Reardon, no stranger to hockey in this CBN, Newfoundland, Labrador, and on the mainland. From Dildo, Ashton Reed. Jarrett Ride out wears number 22. He's from Clarenville. You're going to see a lot of excitement out of him tonight. Riley Rowe from Clarenville also wears number 77. Isaac Sharp is from Harbor of Grace. He wears number 15. Owen Sparks from Bay Roberts wears number 11. Andrew Taylor is from Bristol's Hope. Wearing number 17 is Evan Tucker from Clarenville. And representing Tor Bay is Leo Walsh. Harbor Race is represented by Dylan Whalen, the big player and, and the defenseman, a left winger, and wearing number eight. And from Spanners Bay, it's Raleigh Young, winner 72. That is the lineup for your Old Town Tribe in Osprey. And now, Ben Lee Chow, the lineup for your East Coast Blizzard. Thanks, Don, and the Blizzard got a good lineup at the start to this game. Don, uh, we'll do the Blizzard's lineup as we go along here, but the game has started. They've gone back and forth early in this period, and uh, both teams have had a couple of chances. But the lineup tonight for your East Coast Blizzard, Aiden, Aiden Brothers, Carter Cody, Evan Cross, Devin Down, David Fisher, Carl Garland, Trevor Hoskins, Joshua Hill. And folks, this is going to be an exciting game. And just to let you know, the best bang for your buck in hockey here in Newfoundland, Labrador, is at the Danny Cleary Harbor Race Community Center. As we look at Nova going up for the blizzard, good defensive play by Crosby. These boys, young men rather I say, are anxious to get back in the game. The COVID took it away from them for a while. But them and their management teams have got it back, uh, five of the six teams or five out of six teams this weekend are playing across, uh, across the island. And uh, we know uh, that the boys are anxious to get back and uh, they've been biting at the bit. So again, this is live tonight being streamed. Thank you. And we're back tomorrow night. And what a surprise. Minor hockey starts here tomorrow at eight o'clock, going right through to tomorrow when you see your Tripan Osprey at five at five and then coming on the cb stars right after and folks looking for something to do on sunday morning while you're waiting for the jigs dinner here at the arena at 10 o'clock so that's your lineup for this weekend and uh, osprey looking for a big big weekend uh, hockey picking up some valuable points and getting back at it yeah don and this is a this is a big weekend uh, the osprey are about uh, eight points back in the standings with three games in hand on the blizzard it's the battle for second and third place in the league. 
Uh, the Growlers are leading in the league uh, with a comfortable margin. So these are big games for both teams this weekend. And we look at our, our Tripray and Osprey doing quite well. And we want to say hello to their sponsors, Brookside Service Station, OK Tire, Chris and Danita Crosby, thank you for your organization, the coaching and the professionalism sold by these young players as they're anxious to move, move ahead. And Glenn, talking about Osprey, let's talk about uh, Mr. Mercer. Dawson is up in that NHL. He's cleaner. He, he's an inspiration and an idol to these young players, and uh, they want to be the same thing. Many of these kids have uh, been in uh, hockey school with Dawson. They certainly look up to him. And again, uh, some of these kids on both these teams tonight, Donnie, aspire to uh, follow Dawson's footsteps. And they got the quality of uh, the coaching, the management teams, and the experience they're getting through this major league. It's something else. As we look at the Osprey in, good save by the keeper from the blizzard. And call back. Nets off. Nets off is mooring, Glenn. Glenn, yep. uh, talking to some of the kids, they're anxious to get back playing hockey. It was a, a disru disruption for five, six weeks or whatever it was in the last thing. They were in shape. They were in hockey shape. Mentally, they were prepared. They were anxious to get back on ice, and for different reasons, they couldn't even get back and train for a lot of them. So it's good to see the league back up and running again. It certainly is, Don. It's been a long time. It's been only been two months since we played a regular season game. Uh, most teams got back on the ice about two weeks ago, ten days ago. So they've all had probably three or four practices. And this is the first game for uh, both these teams as the season resumes. We have three weekends left in the regular season uh, before the playoffs start. And uh, there's a lot of hockey to play between now and April 21st. And here comes Sparks in on the side. In on the forecheck is Reardon for your Osprey. Loose puck is picked up. Looking for a man in front. Nobody there. Try to get it back to the defense. And here come the area. Blizzard right back. They got two on the wing. Loveless plays, but it takes a shot. Good save by the keeper. Osprey need to keep an eye on Loveless tonight, Donnie. He's their leading scorer, and uh, he's very proficient around the net. Blizzard forced back in their own zone, picked up by the big defenseman. Tool just tips it in and goes look for the change. Back behind his own net is Harris. Harris will lead the attack for your Osprey. Pass it up on the side. Unable to clear it was Green. Back in on the four checker to Blizzard. Again, an opportunity for your tripen Osprey to clear it out. Fisher keeps it in. And again, good defense from your Osprey. Here's a long lead pass to Landry. He's in. Good defensive play. No call by the officials. Good play. Here's Young looking for the man in front. Tucker in the corner, battling for it. Good pressure put on by your Osprey right now. Good bump again by Landry. Shot. Rebound, cleared out of the way by the Blizzard. And here come a two on one for the Blizzard. It's Wicks with Fisher unable to get it through. Good play by again your Osprey. Good defense in their own zone. They look cleared out, unable to get it through. Kept in by the Blizzard. Launch out, they score! The Blizzard score! Yeah, play around the boards that time. Don went to the pointman and uh, I don't think uh, the goaltender saw that. Curry saw that puck and uh, the Blizzard take a one nothing lead. How often do you see it, Don? A couple of good chances for the Osprey uh, just uh, before that and uh, they didn't finish. Laundry had a, a partial breakaway, got another good chance and now uh, they come back down to Blizzard score and it's one nothing Blizzard. Blizzard take a one nothing lead with 6.04 gone the first period of play. Crosby out to take the draw at center. He's a spark plug for this team. He's going to take the draw against Kelly. No, the coaching staff for the Blizzard going to make a change. Thing now is for the Osprey to rebound. It's only one goal. Everybody is a little bit rusty. So here they come again. Back at the point. Looking to clear it up. Crosby going through the center. Wally gets it into him. Got right out on the wing. Force back again. Crosby, good defensive play. Burrow looks cleared in the center. Blizzard just content to shoot it back in. Burn back behind his own net.
Osby broke out, but again picked up over to Mitch Moore. He looks for the man through the center, unable to get it through, and again, good play by Buddy Osprey to break it up. Big defenseman Byrne, back it in his own zone, long pass, too far ahead for Dawson, and we're going to have an icing call with 6 7 one left to go in this first period of play, Glenn. All right, good pace to the first period, Don, for the first game back in six weeks. Uh, both teams seem to be uh, with a lot of pep and vigor. Uh, we had a little uh, bell stop early there. So uh, a good start to the game. I think both coaches would be pleased with the performance of their teams right now. Well, one thing about these kids at this age, and here's Marshall at the point, looking for a long shot, they able to get it through. The kids are in shape. They were able to control it, and it's a goal score there. Keeper thought he had it, but he never, so a uh, loose puck come up, and Curry uh, unable to control it, so the Blizzard moved by with a okay. score of 2-0 with 7 minutes and 8 seconds down in this first period of play. Unfortunate goal there, Curry was trying to cover the puck, uh, couldn't get control. Pokey was standing in front of the net, got a stick on it and poked it in. And it's 2-0 Blizzard with uh, just over seven minutes gone in this first period. As I said, Glenn, it's just an opportunity now after six weeks off the ice to get back on it. Yeah, get the rust out, get the play starting to come, and you can practice as much as you want. But it's game situations, and we look forward to the Osprey picking up the pace right now. Here's Walsh at the point. He shoots it back behind the net. It's Kennedy looking for the man in front. Nobody there. Loose puck picked up by Reardon. Unable to get it through. And the blizzard break out. And kept in at the line by Dylan Whalen. Man in front. Kennedy had a good save by the keeper. And Kennedy is another one of them little spark plugs. And you need the spark plugs to make the engine run. Uh, Kennedy is always around the puck. Uh, you always got to keep an eye on him because he's always going to be around the puck. He's a buzzsaw and uh, certainly an effective player for the Osprey. Face off to the left of the goaltender. Taking the draw, it's Sparks. Loses the draw and cleared out by the Blizzard. It's Whalen forced back into his own zone. And he'll start the rush. He's looking for a man in the wing. Makes a move, pass it through. Nice pass. Sparks has to come back into his own zone. Over to Whalen again. Whalen again looking for the man. Sparks bumped in the middle by two players. Loveless looking for, for loose puck. But good play by Sparks. Over to Kenny. Kenny shoots it in and they'll go for a line change. Deep in the blizzard zone, up steps to Harris. And again, the blizzard just is content to clear it out. And it's gonna be icing call against the blizzard. With nine minutes and 20 seconds left to go. Your match right. better than mine, Donnie. Gone. <laughs> Face off, going to be to the left of goaltender for the Blizzard. He's played a strong game. Uh, Osprey after having some chances. And here's Laundry in on a four check. And he's impressed, Glenn, in our games that we live streamed on TV. A good hockey player, 100% hustle all the time. And he's a difference maker on this Osprey's team. Here's Green at the point. He moves it in. He's in the corner being watched closely by the Blizzard players and looking to clear it out. Kept in at line. In on the four check are your Osprey players. Back to the line to Green. He looks for the defense in the front. And a goal is called. Good play. Put it off the goaltender, and for those of us watching the Olympics and NHL, that's a play now, a set play. So good play by your tripod opera. They make it two to one. Yeah, nice play there by the uh, the defenseman to keep it in. A young Johnny on the spot to bang, bank it off the goaltender. Makes it two to one, and uh, Osprey are back in this game. With just over nine minutes gone in the second period, it's back and forth, Donnie. Both teams have had a couple of chances early. Yeah, and we expected that, Glenn. Uh, I said the boys are eager to get playing. There's Landry with a bump on the man. Clear back in, and here's Harris. Nice move, getting rid of the four check. Clears it out, and here comes Crosby and Landry. And a bad bounce picked up by Noble. Shot back in. Here's Landry again, looking for Crosby. Crosby picks up the pass. And here's Kelly. Landry had him lined up, but made a smart play and picked the puck. 
Looking for the man in front. Are they able to get through? Close. Swally in front. Laundry again. Skating malls out there tonight. Laundry will go for the change. Good forward check. Cleared all the way back into your uh, Osprey zone. Up to Crosby. Blizzard now looks to start things off. Up to Tucker. Tucker finds the man in the center. The King. King's shot is up high and over the net. Curry looks like he's struggling with the with the play here tonight. Tr struggling with the puck, Danny. And uh, also, uh, the, the Blizzard is taking full advantage of it right now. Blizzard in on the four check behind the net. Looking for the man in front and again. Blizzard with King, they keep it in. Opportunity for your Osprey to clear it out. Oh, shot all the way back and we're gonna have icing called. We played 10 minutes and 40 seconds of this first period of play. And the faceoff comes all the way back here down into the Osprey zone. That was good, a good shift by Tucker, Vokey, and company for the Blizzard that time. And the Osprey in, and a big faceoff here. Right, it wins the draw for his Osprey team. Looks to clear it up. Good pass, and here it comes through the middle. An opportunity for the Osprey, and a big defenseman for the Blizzard steps up and looks for Tool in the corner. Up to Hawkins, he loses, he gets the puck back. Tool stays on side. Loveless with the puck in the center ice area, makes a good move, moves in, he's got two on one with Tool. Tool's in, big save by Curry. Another big save, and over on the other side to save the wraparound. Blizzard with some pressure on right now, gets it through. It's Tool, back to Brothers. Brothers content to shoot it in, opportunity for your Tri-Pen Osprey to get it out. Again, good forward check by the Blizzard. They score! Donnie, what happened there was that the Osprey got caught with their fourth line on the ice, and uh, the Blizzard had their top line, the Tool, uh, Loveless, and Hawkins on the ice. So just a mismatch there, and uh, the Blizzard took it for the Blizzard. So that makes it three to one. And don't forget, teams, uh, folks at home, these teams are playing again five o'clock tomorrow, 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. It's a big series for both teams. They're playing for second pla and third place. These are second, third place teams. There's some big points on the go this weekend, and we expect this to be an exciting weekend in hockey. I call it a hockey night in the Harbor Grace. Here you go. We got minor hockey all day tomorrow. We've got your this Tri-Pan Osprey team at five, CB Stars at eight, and you can't get no better. And you know, Glenn, we got a good crowd here at Night in the Tennis. Wanted to come back and see the yep. kids and see them back. And for five bucks a mission, steal. What a deal. It's what a, a deal. deal. It's a steal. And again, and here's a have... play is a little hook. Sparks is hooked. No reaction from Sparks. Kenny comes in and mix it up a little bit. He's got to watch what he's at. They're going on the PP. Yeah, Kenny just got to go to the bench in that situation, Don. No need to pick up an additional minor. Uh, the Osprey had a power play, and uh, he shouldn't be fooling around. Just go to the bench. And he did that. He's just an emotional player, a lot to offer, and I think it comes naturally to him. Probably does. Face off to the right of the keeper for your blizzard. Here to take it is Reardon. Green is at the point, giving some direction. They've got a little big line out there. They're behind three to one. So an opportunity now. Green has to go. He must have to get an equipment problem. It looks that way. It looks like maybe it's either a stick or an equipment problem. So Green has to go. Well, Waltz comes out to replace him. And uh, I think we're ready for the puck drop here, Don. Crosby wins the draw, but they got to go back with it again. Let's say hello to all our viewers out there. And to David Sims for doing the game again. He's got a busy weekend. He starts again 7.30 tomorrow morning.
some chat with the referee, Glenn. Yeah, the green came out, of, went off the ice, went back on the ice, and he couldn't change because Walsh, there hadn't been a puck drop. So uh, Green had to go to the bench. Walsh was on the point. Burden again, take the save, save face off. Wins it back to the point. Here's an opportunity for Osprey. They were on the power play. They've got a minute and 53 seconds left. Walsh at the point, trying to set it up over to Crosby. Crosby's looks cross ice for Sparks. Unable to control it. And here's an opportunity for your Blizzard to shoot it all the way down. Curry will handle the puck for behind his own net, leaving it for Walsh. And here come your Osprey. Looking for a man, long lead pass to Landry. Unable to get it through. Walsh steps up to the plate again. And cleared out by your king for your Blizzard. And again, Osprey trying to set something up. Broken up again. Good play by Sparks. He's in two on one. He's got Reardon in front. But again, broken up, but up steps the play, looking for the man in front. As Sparks with an opportunity to control him right now, gives it up to Reardon. Reardon's got laundry in front, but they've got lots of time. They got 58 seconds left on the power play. Over to Green. Green long shot, looking for the deflection in front. Here comes a good hustle by your Blizzard. Good defensive play by Green, but it's a big save by Carey. Loose puck. Grabbed by Laundry, and he leads things. He's up the right wing. Crosby goes for the trains. Got Wally in front. And shot down again. Reardon unable to control it, and he'll go for a change. 26 seconds left to go on the power play. 3-1 to one is the score if you're joining us late. It's your Tri-Pan Osprey in the white and your Blizzard in the blue. Good game as these teams get back on track again after six weeks off. Glenn, five seconds left to go on the power play. Yeah, the Osprey didn't get a chance to set up that time down. Good penalty killing by the Blizzard. And uh, again, uh, the Osprey got to go, got to gain its own something like now, and then get pucks to the net. But uh, they had no uh, possession in the zone, in the offensive zone that time on the power play at all. 5:41 left to go in this first period of play. Up and over the net, and the faceoff is going to be called. And outside the blue line is where the puck will go. Blizzard were very aggressive on that penalty kill, and uh, it showed. Uh, didn't let the Osprey set up in the zone. Uh, great job by the Blizzard on the penalty kill, and uh, we've got about uh, five minutes and 38 seconds left here in the first period. Face off back just outside the Osprey blue line. One by the Osprey, picked up by Whalen. He looks cleared up, but the Blizzard step up to the plate. And that's Wicks keeping it in. Again, Smith for the Blizzard, looking for Tucker in front. Good defensive play by Walsh, but again, the Blizzard come on. Curry again is called on to make a good play. Man in front. He fans on it, an opportunity for the Osprey to clear it out. Good play. By Young, able to offside is going to be called, Glenn. Yeah. We've got 4:58 left to go in this first period of play. Yeah, the the, the Osprey's got to be strong around the puck in their own zone. Don, they, they got four guys standing out in front of the net. Curry's here, and uh, nobody, uh, no man coverage on the Blizzard players. And basically, the Blizzard are doing what they want right now in the Osprey zone. Walsh behind his own net, leaves it for Whalen. Whalen looking for the man up on the wing. An opportunity for the Osprey to get up to Reardon. Good play, looking for the man in the center is Kennedy. Kennedy's got control, tries to move, but good play by the big defenseman for the Blizzard. Here come the Blizzard, led by Captain Hawkins. He's got Tool and Loveless. Looking for Hawkins, back to the center. And we're going to have a penalty call, Glenn. Yeah, behind the play, uh, Cameron Sims is calling Kennedy for a hook. And again, uh, can't afford these penalties, Don uh Defensive zone, uh, middle center ice penalties uh, will kill you. And again, with 4.28 to go, uh, Blizzard going to the power play. And they got their big guns out there. They got Hawkins, Loveless, and Tool with Marshall and McGuire on defense. 
And uh, Donnie, if they score here, nice comfortable lead going into the going into the intermission. Hawkins to take the draw. Going to be the left or uh, right of goaltender Curry, and we need a big K right now from the Osprey. They've got Green out there, team captain. Wiley is out there and taking the draw. Hawkins setting it up for his team. Buck is dropped, won by Hawkins. Getting back to the point to McGuire. McGuire treads the line, looking for Lovis. Big defensive play that time by Wiley. Back to McGuire at the point. Again, he crosses the line. Lovis, shot, they score. That's Kelly. a big. That's a, that's a nice play, a good play by McGuire to bring it to the middle of the ice. Gave it to Lovelace, beautiful pass. One timer by Kelly, and it's 4-1. Uh, Blizzard, and again, Donnie has a center over there. Uh, bad thing, uh, cost the Blizzard, uh, it cost the Osprey a goal, and it's now 4-1 uh, Blizzard with 4-10 left in this period. Clint, uh, I'm just looking at... Must have been a double minor or misconduct that went with that penalty. Players still in the, in the penalty box as their teams are back in the even strength. Yeah, we see, uh, I see Reardon in there for uh, the Osprey, and I can't uh, get the uh, uh, Blizzard player, but they're both in there sitting it out, Donnie, so there must have been something that we uh, we missed behind the play, but uh, Reardon and, uh, and the Blizzard player are certainly uh, in the box for a couple of minutes. Hawkins takes the draw, wins it cleanly, he's back. Brothers looks to shoot it in, hit the official, and Osprey with his branch, a chance in the center ice area. Good scrimmage along the boards. Loose puck to look to be picked out by Rideout, but again, the Os Osprey unable to control it, and the Blizzard looking center ice area to Hawkins, over to Wilkins. Long shot in, Hawkins is in on the four check. He could be the first man in the puck, but Curry does a good job clearing it out. Crosby bumps with McGuire at the line, and here's Bourne. Bourne, the big defenseman for your Osprey. Puts it back, and here it is. Again, the Blizzard with the four check on. Glenn you said that big line, and Curry with a big save. Yeah, uh, they've spent a lot of time in the uh, offensive zone. Uh, certainly uh, Loveless and Hawkins and Tool. We have 3.08 to go here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you're watching live Newfoundland and Labrador U18 Major Hockey League action from the Danny Cleary Community Center here in Harbor Grace. Uh, you're watching the tri Pen Osprey against the Tricon Blizzard, and it's a good first period action here. Lowell on the boards are the blizzard in on the four check. Here's Laundry with an opportunity to clear it out. They still got time. Four to one is the score. Two four forty five left to go in this first period of play. Broken up by the blizzard at their own blue line. Looking in on the four check is Fisher. Forced all the way back. Whale is forced back. Given direction by Young. Looks to pass it behind. Gives up the puck. Here's the. Good chance in front, and he fans on it, and here comes Laundry. Laundry the end of the right wing. Certainly Laundry has been the most effective player in this period, Donnie, by far. For the Osprey, he's been around the puck, he's had control of the puck, spent a lot of time in the offensive zone. Laundry cross ice pass to Harris, the shot is taken, and a good save by the keeper for the Blizzard. Yeah, and again, uh, that period, in this period, uh, Laundry seems to be the, been the most effective player right now for the Osprey, and uh, they've had some chances early down, but the Blizzards kind of took over the game after the five-minute mark, and it's basically been all Blizzard since that time, and uh, the 4-1 lead is probably a justified lead right now for the Blizzard. Face-off taken by Doss and won by your Blizzard. Looking for the man in front. Blizzard with an opportunity right now. Clear it out, and here they go. Bump by Green is Kelly. Forced all the way back where Curry will play it, and he leave it for his big defenseman. 142 left to go in his first period of play. 
Find a man up through the center. He is unable to control it. Blizzard back in her own zone. Cross high pass. Here come the Blizzard. Got Noble in front. Curry deflects it out of harm's way. 116 left to go in this first period of play. Brothers at the point. Cross ice has pass. Big save by Curry. Big combination here for the Blizzard brothers and McGuire playing the defense here, Donnie. They're a very good defensive pair, and uh, they play very well together. Again, uh, Curry, uh, Curry is keeping them in it at the moment, and uh, the Osprey just need to uh, have better puck management. Opportunity right now for the Blizzard. With one minute left to go in his first period of play. Good play. Rebounds picked up. Curry gets a piece of it over to Byrne. Byrne looks for the man up the side. Finds the man in the center is Parks. Sparks tries a long shot and no problem for the keeper for the Blizzard. 48 seconds left to go in period number one. Four to one is the score. Your Blizzard in blue and your Osprey in white. And Osprey are trying to generate some offense here in the last minute. Donnie with a big line out of Verdon, Kennedy, and Sparks. And that goes burn. Check goes off the point and back goes uh, Rowe for the puck. Rowe is forced back into his own zone. In and four check out of Blizzard players. Rowe makes a nice play behind his net. 35 seconds left to go in period number one. Again, good four check by the Blizzard. And here comes Reardon. And offside is going to be called against your Tripan Osprey. Again, Danny, being a little too fancy going down, down the blue line. Gain the zone and then, then set the play up. But again, uh, too much, uh, too much dipsy doodling around the blue line caused that offside and took away a scoring chance for the Osprey. 23 seconds, Glenn. Marshall. Cross ice pass, trying to find a man on the wing. He's got him, he's going down the left side and bumped out of play by Kennedy. Green behind his own net, trying to force the blizzard to get control. Again, nice save by Curry. A lot of traffic in front of the net. The uh, blizzard are clogging up the front of the goal and uh, Curry is having a hard time seeing that puck here in this period, Donnie. Big face off coming up to the left to the goaltender Curry. If you're joining us late, it's Major Junior Hockey from the Danny Cleary Harbor Race Community Center. Right now, your East Coast Blizzard leader, Tripan Osprey by a score of four to one. Ben Little John, Don Coombs, and we'll be back shortly for the start of the second. Glenn? We'll be right back, folks.
the Tricon Blizzard are up four to one over your Tripan Osprey, and a good back and forth first period down, but uh, certainly uh, dominated by the Blizzard after the first five minutes or so. Yeah, Glenn, and what we're seeing is that uh, you know the Tripan Osprey, our home team, and the Blizzard, a little bit rusty at times, but that, that'll come along. This is a three-game weekend, folks. So we're here tonight live at the Danny Cleary Harbor Race Community Center. Don't forget, we're back at 5 tomorrow. 5 tomorrow, you can come in and watch these same two teams go at it. And then Sunday at 10 o'clock. Glenn, as you said, a big three-game weekend big for both teams. Big three-game weekend here, Danny. Uh, second, second place is up for grabs. The uh, Osprey have three games in hand. They're eight points back. They certainly need to win the weekend series to give themselves a shot. They still will have one more game against uh, the uh, Blizzard before the season ends. So this is a big weekend for the Osprey if they want to make a push for second place. And, and Glenn, I'd like to say congratulations to all the fans that showed up tonight. You know, they, they want to see uh, the best of the hockey in the Bay here right now. And you're looking at it with your Tripan Osprey. And fortunately, we're lucky with the CB Stars. We're looking at the junior team, the play out of Bay Arena. Some fantastic hockey players that were shown casing in this area. Well, these are your future senior players in hockey, and we're going to see some of these players in the queue. They got opportunities for all the NHL dreams. So you're going to see them right here, and the same as your Blizzard players. Uh, these young players know each other now. Uh, you know, they're used to playing each other, so it's got to be a team game right now. Get the rust off tonight. Get ready for tomorrow and Sunday. And, you know, one of these teams, I think, are going to win two or three. And tonight's game is a field-out time. And, again, a good play by Curry. You know, he, he got off to a little shaky start, no fault of his own. But he's, uh, he's kept his uh, Osprey in the game right now. Played in nearly two months, haven't had a competitive game, so uh, once again, uh, both teams getting a little bit of rust off, but Curry seems to be getting a little more comfortable. We're just getting a little bit of mic trouble here, folks, and... Uh, and that was a trick. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we just had a little bit of audio trouble here, and uh, we'll get that straight down in a second, and Don will come back to you live. We've got a face-off here to the uh, left of Curry, and uh, again, uh, Blizzard had a good scoring chance, a nice stop, uh, penalty on the play. We've got number uh, 91, uh, Crosby, in the box for the Osprey, Don. Yeah, and a big power play right now for your Blizzard. They're looking to extend on their lead, and the main thing right now is for your Osprey is to kill this penalty off. And Glenn, we got to say hello to uh, some special people. Uh, this week was a very important week, and I know a lot of the people that uh, we were supporting this week and the teacher staff appreciation week, you know, played a, a major role in these uh, these young players' lives. So we want to reach out on behalf of us here at the game to say uh, happy teacher stu uh, teacher staff appreciation week from all of us and from the players on the Osprey and the Blizzard. Certainly, Don. Uh, you know. Uh uh, teachers play a very important part in the extracurricular activity of, of all, all all these kids, and uh, they've uh, certainly supported them for the years. So uh, happy uh, Teacher Appreciation Week from all of us. And here's Marshall, long cross ice pass. He's got the man coming in the left wing. They're on a power play, 116 left. Osprey looking to clear things out here right now. Don Coombs, Glenn Littlejohn, live from Danny Cleary Community Center in Harbor Race. We're here tonight. We're here tomorrow at 5. And we're here again Saturday, uh, Sunday morning at 10. So before you get to Jigs dinner on, you come up here to the arena. You cheer on the boys. The best $5 you can spend in Newfoundland and Labrador is this hockey, folks. It certainly is, Donnie. And uh, the Osprey are just slow to the puck. Uh, you know, uh, they've had two or three chances on this power play to get the puck out and just slow to the puck. And 
it's just creating more opportunities for the Blues with the score. They've got to be quicker to the puck, and they've got to be, when they get the puck, they got to get it clear. Curry playing strong here right now on this PK. Osprey doing a good job keeping the box open. Here's Marshall with the long shot. He fans on an opportunity right now to tear it out for the Osprey. Marshall keeps it in at the game at the blue line, and he cross ice pass picked up by Walsh. Walsh with an opportunity gets it to ride out, and ride out clears it all the way down into the zone where Hillier will come out and play it for the Blizzard. Line changes on both sides. Here come the Blizzard. They've got 12 seconds left to go in this power play. 17-21 left to go in this first period, second period of play. If you're joining us late, your Osprey and White are one. Your Blizzard in blue are four. Good hockey game here, folks, and we look for an exciting second period of play. Here's Garland looking for the man in front. Finds the man in the off wing. Another big save by Curry. He's stepping up to the plate for his team right now. Team's back on even strength. We played three minutes of period number two. Behind the net is Noble for your blizzard. Looks for the man in front. Broken up there, and here comes Crosby. He's out in the penalty box. He's fresh. He's taken down. Play goes on. And held by Hillier, and here's Crosby having a few words with yeah, Garland. And, and that was a good play by Garland. He stood Crosby up, and uh, you know, you gotta be able to take that, Don. Uh, that's the stuff you gotta be able to take. Uh, good play by Garland. Let the puck go through, made a good play. And a uh, few words, but that's the young fellow who's getting a little bit of that testosterone out. Just trying to ignite his team after coming back after a penalty, and that's what he's doing, and trying to give the spark. They're down 4-1. to one. The kids, all the kids hate to lose, and they know they can play better on both, both teams. Tucker can take the draw to the right of Hillier right now. A little Tucker bit of frustration right now, I think, yeah. on the Osprey side. Yep. Yeah. And here they come. A long lead pass for Tucker. Finds him. Harris looks to clear it out. They have to clear the zone. Laundry picks it up, and they're going to call... Offsides. Laundry impresses me, Glenn. Uh, he's a young player. He's tall, lanky. Yep. He's always moving. He, he's trying to make something happen offensively every time he gets the puck. And, you know, that, that's what the team needs right now, some spark. And he's trying to give it to him as all the players are right now. Certainly is, Donnie. Uh, Laundry has been a good player for the Osprey for a couple of years now. One of the leaders, I think, in this, on this team. Uh, skates miles every night, gives you everything he's got every shift and uh, every team needs one and uh, Damien has certainly uh, inspired a lot of these uh, young fellows to play better. He's a 5'10 forward folks, he's 150 pounds, he's from Bay Roberts, great minor hockey system up there with the Bay Arena Rovers and he came up through it and he plays hard each and every game and you know he's one of them no quit players, doesn't matter what score is whether it's Never. for or against. Makes no difference important. what the score is with him, that's true Donnie. And here come the Osprey with a chance looking for Laundry all the way down. We may have a nice call. There's a call against your Tripan Osprey. An opportunity right now. We played four minutes and 44, 45 seconds of period number two. The score, if you're joining us late, the East Coast Blizzard four and your Tripan Osprey and wait one. Yeah, we've had a good game going here. Good pace, Danny, most of the night. Uh, again, uh, remembering that these two teams haven't played now in nearly two months. This is the first time they've played a competitive game in two months trying to get the legs and the feel and everything else. And uh, you can practice all you want, as you said earlier, Donnie, but until you actually play some games and get in that game mode, it's just not the same. Here's Whalen behind the net. Good four check from Hawkins. Hawkins controls the puck for the Blizzard. Gives it back to the point to the big defenseman looking for the man in front again. Good defensive play by the Osprey. Whalen with the puck looking for the man up front. He finds Kennedy. Little spark plug down the left wing. He's got a man with him. Reardon circling in front. And a big defenseman for your Blizzard, content to clear it out again in the corner. Looking to clear it in front, nobody there. Kennedy in on the four check. Blizzard pick it up with Noble, shoots it all the way down. We're gonna have an icing call with 15-12. Icing is waved off, Glenn, sorry about that there folks at home. 15-12, Le left to go in this. Linesman Greenland call that one off, Tony, and back they come. Sparks with an opportunity, nice move. Cross ice pass. Long shot, blocked by Hillier. Look at the line to keep it in, it's Reardon. He does a do good defensive play, some pushing and shoving with Reardon. And Tucker behind the play, referee having a good look at him. Don't want anything to get out of control, two valuable players to the teams. Laundry again on the four track. And here come your Blizzard. It's Loveless in on the off wing, deep into the zone of the Osprey. Good check there by the Blizzard tool. This is this Hawkins uh, uh, tool, Loveless line again, Donnie uh, in the zone again. 
giving it, playing havoc with the with the Osprey. Osprey cleared out the center ice area is Cody. Long ice pass tipped in by Wicks. Wicks is in on the wing. Opportunity again now to set something things up is Whalen. He's got the man on the wing. Cleared up along the boards. Long pass deep into the Blizzard zone. Icing again waved off. Blizzard on the four check. Wicks again looking for something. Steps through the center. He was met by Byrne and Laundry. Green picks up the loose puck deep into his own zone. Looks for somebody up on the wing, unable to find him. He's got Laundry through the center. Laundry's got two players with him. Laundry tries to go through the center and he's taken down and we're gonna have a penalty. Laundry showed gonna, his speed again, he Laundry showing the speed, made a good move on Cody and Cody uh, interfered with him. And uh, Cody is going to sit for two minutes and Osprey go back to the power play, Don. 13 26 left to go in period number two. It's Don Coombs, Glenn Littlejohn. And Four Don, to one is your score. And Don, I want to throw out, uh, I want to throw out a, uh, a sincere thank you to the owners of the fra various franchises in the league. You know, they've uh, stuck with it for two months and made sure that these kids have got back on the ice and with their dedication and support and their effort, uh, these kids get to play again. And uh, I think kudos to all the ownership groups. The five ownership groups have done a great job. And it's great to be back here at Holland Hockey again tonight. Well, they, they're giving these young men a chance to play hockey, a game that they love. They're giving these uh, young players an opportunity to go further in hockey, whether that be university, whether it be, uh, you know, major, junior, whether it be junior, whatever it is, they're, they're going to get an opportunity because of the coaching that they have and the sponsors like the Brookside, Service Station, OK Tire, the sponsor here, Tri-Pan Osprey. And that's what's needed in hockey in Newfoundland, Glenn. And these players play for the love of the game. They certainly do, Donnie, and like most of these players have aspirations to go on to, a, to the next level, whether that's here in the local junior league or whether that's in the Maritime Junior A League or the Q, or some may even decide to go to school. But these players play for an opportunity to go on to the next level, and the coaches in, at this level are some of the best coaches on the island, Donnie, and uh, hats off to all of them, and we hope that these kids whatever they decide they want to do in their hockey career, get to achieve it. 125 left to go in the, the first power play. At CV, uh, the, uh, Troy Penn Osprey on a two-man power play. Get it back to the point. Green's got a man on the off wing over to him, looking for set things up. They've got lots of time on the power play. It's Sparks making some nice moves, but good floor check from the blizzard. Get it out. Osprey just out of sync, Donny. The Osprey are just right out of sync. A great opportunity here on a five on three, an extended five on three for over a minute and 30 seconds. And uh, the Osprey just are not in sync here. And that's the Ross part, and that will come out before the weekend is over. Here's back again, here's Reardon, leads the attack. Gets over the blue line, gets possession in the corner, looking to set things up. They've got five on three for the next 42 seconds at least, and they need a goal right now. It's in the Sparks, over to Laundry. Laundry pass in front to Reardon, good save by Hillier. Look to clear it out, but good four check again by the Osprey. Look to control it. Good play again by Sparks in the corner. He's bumped from behind. Here's Green, cross ice pass to Crosby. 19 seconds left to go in that first power play. Find Sparks coming in on the wing, looking for the man in front. The fan to score. Reardon scores. Laundry unable to control it. Tips it off to Reardon and a big goal there. That's a big goal, Donnie. That's Osprey. a big goal for the Tri-Pan. Makes the game 4-2. Finally, some good puck movement by the Osprey. Uh, results in Reardon getting a chance in front of it. And uh, Christian Reardon won this one of those. And it's 4-2. And they've still got 35 seconds in the other, power, other penalty. So they're still on a 35-second power play. And lots of time left to go. We've got 11.30 seconds. 11.37 left to go in the second period of play. And we're live at the Danny Cleary Harbor Race Community Center. Again, this game tonight is live. We're back here tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock. You can watch these teams battle out. Some of the rust will be off again. And we're back again Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. So lots of hockey here. Drop by and see the best players in midget hockey in the province of Newfoundland Labrador. And you're watching two of the best teams right now battle out for second and third place. Back behind his own net now is the Tri-Pan Osprey defenseman. He looked to set things up then. Nine 
seconds left to go in the power play. They look to get one more chance. He's up on the wing. Here comes Wiley. He's in on the side. Trips. Leaves the puck there for Tucker. Tucker, good control of the puck. He's being watched closely. That'll kill the penalty. Penalty, Glenn. Right, Four two is the score. And we've got another penalty coming up here to the uh, Blizzard. King, I believe, is going for two for a trip. And the Osprey are going to go back to the power play, Don. King is gone. The King is gone. The King is gone. And Glenn, while we're talking about sports and everything else, where people are after going, I'd like to congratulate Team Guju on the bronze medal at the Olympic Games. Uh, Brad, Brent, Mark, and Jeff, congratulations, along with a very good friend of mine, one of the coaches, Jeff Thomas. And uh, I read on CBC, you know, getting ready after you lose a big game is very difficult. And Mark Kennedy, their fifth man, uh, did it with Kevin Coley. And uh, in the CBC article I was reading, he said, boys, you got to get up. One of his biggest regrets in uh, his sport, he said, was losing in the bronze medal game. They took home a medal, and uh, these guys are the same things. No matter what the score is, you got to work hard. you got to have pride in what you're doing, and you got to train, and you're at it all. And uh, these teams are giving 110%. They don't want to lose. And no matter who wins the game tonight, there's another game tomorrow. The coaches will get them refocused, whichever team it is, and we're going to have a good weekend of hockey. Certainly are, Donnie, and... Uh you're, you're right. Uh, you've got to be able to play. You've got to be able to refocus after uh, after the game. And whether you win or lose, you've got to be able to get ready for the next one. And uh, these two teams will go at it again tomorrow. And both these teams are getting ready. There's Crosby trying to make something happen. We've got 105 left to go in this power play. Osprey would look like nothing more to get one right now and get back into it. McGuire clears it out for the Blizzard. They'll make a line change. They've got a minute on that power play and uh, that PK line. Cody stays back. Back there is Walsh behind his own net. Uh, Green, rather, and he's got Reardon as the dragging on the team. Gives it back to Reardon. Speedster looking to make things happen. A native of Bryan's Cove. Nice pass through the middle. He's got Landry. Sparks is going through the center. Loose puck is picked up by Crosby in the corner, looking for the man in front, setting things up, giving direction over. Nice pass to Sparks. He tries a low shot, and Cody picks it up and looks to clear it out. But again, Sparks steps up, looking for the man in front. He's got him. Laundry with a chance. Gives it back to the point. Long shot by Walsh. Low and wide. Crosby picks up the loose puck. 11 seconds left to go into power play. Walsh again at the point. Long cross ice pass. Picked up by Sparks. Controls it. Looking for a man in front. High and over the net, Walsh again steps up. We're back at even strength. Reardon steps up to the plate again. Oh, golden opportunity for the Osprey that time, Glenn. All right, some sustained pressure, good puck movement, Danny. And when you get good puck movement, you get the uh, opposition moving and you, you create chances. They created some good chances that time. Uh, a little bit of tough luck, couldn't finish. Faceoff going to be the left of Hillier, who's had a strong game for this uh, East Coast Blizzard. Glenley is a big, tall goalie, fills out well in net, plays it well, and uh, certainly a big addition to this uh, East Coast Blizzard team. That uh, certainly is. Tucker lose the draw. Osprey looked to pick it up. Man bumped down in front. Tucker again gives it back. Here come the Blizzard behind their own net. It's cold as he's bumped off the, the puck. Goes down, and here come the Osprey. Ryder looks to keep it in. Garland steps up to the plate, but throws a good body check. And here's Green, steps up to the plate, and uh, we're going to have another penalty call. Glenn? Got two minutes for on Sportsman like that time, uh, right from the bench. So, again, uh, too many men, I believe, are on Sportsman like. I'm not sure what it is, but anyway. Some discussion with the coaching staff, but unfortunately, as in all sports, the referee gets the last uh, say. Exactly. You, you don't win an argument. You don't win an argument with a referee. And uh, again, uh, I don't think there was anything going on that no, time, Donnie, no. that needed to be going on. And uh, you got you got to have some self-control uh, on the bench. And uh, again, uh, now the Blizzard just uh, get they go back on a power play with 8:18 left here. Harris wins the draw for Osprey. Back behind his own net, it looks to shoot it out. They've got two minutes to kill off, Glenn. You don't want to give up another goal now as we move halfway through this second period of play. Want to control the puck as Harris back there. Here's 
Long shot down by Green, the defenseman shoots it back down. We're going to kill off some valuable seconds. Good to set things up, man stays high. And here come your blizzard in the center ice area. Over finds Loveless through the middle. He's finds some skating room and offsides call against Loveless and Wiley. And Loveless bumping again, some pushing and shoving after the whistle. Looks like it's going to be another penalty call against. It looks like we're going to get double minors here, Donnie. Uh, uh, referee Sims is just clamping down on some of this stuff. Uh, no need of it, and uh, so they're going to go sit and cool their heels for a couple of minutes. Two offsetting minors. Uh, Blizzard is still on the power play for another minute and 26 seconds. And as you said earlier, uh, a big penalty kill here for the Osprey. Just got a goal to get back at 4-2, get back in the game. Don't want to give up a power play goal right now, and uh, and go down three goals again. Loveless stays out. He takes the draw and wins it. Young bumps with Marshall. Blizzard look, look to set things up. They've got a minute and 16 seconds left to go on the PK. Again, some bumping and Sims behind the play as the referee watching it, keep it close. Golden opportunity. What a break there through the middle. And Curry, nice no play. problem. Deflects it back into the corner. Green with an opportunity. He's looking to hold it to kill off some seconds, but picked up by Loveless. He takes a shot. Again, get a piece of it and some pushing and shoving in front of the net. Again, Marshall at the point. They'll look to set things up. They've got lots of time. They've got 50 seconds left to go in this power play. And they get their goal. They get their goal to go up 5-2, Glenn. Yeah, Osprey got running around in the box. Uh, Donnie uh, McGuire comes off the uh, comes off the, the left side and uh, puts it high side. Left side of Curry, nice goal. And it's 5-2 for the Blizzard. And again, Donnie, as we talked about earlier, uh, you got to stay in the box. Uh, that's three power play goals tonight. Uh, you got to stay in the box. Uh, this blizzard power play is uh, is lethal, and the Osprey has have got to stay out of the box. 7:06 left to go in period number two. Don Coombs, Glenn Little John, live, right here from the Danny Cleary Harbor Grace Community Center. We're back again tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock. If you're looking for something to do, you want to see these players in person, our future stars, drop by. It's only $5 a mission. Another good save by Hilliers. Reardon looks to make something happen. He got the last goal for your Tripan Osprey. Kept in by the Osprey. Knocked down as Harris looking for the man in front. Kennedy is there, unable to control it. Kennedy is bumped along the boards. Reardon picks it up. Nobody in front. And the Blizzard looked to clear things up. Shot back in, and here come the, again. It's 2 1 1. Man left in front. And a big save. That was a great opportunity there for the Blizzard player all alone from the net and threw it over the net, Donnie. Little breakdown there defensively as the two got a the man got alone in front. And so our teams are back at even strength. There's lots of time to play in the game. Everybody just got to. Settle down, the coaching staff will speak to both teams in the second period. Of, uh, and these games change. I, they haven't flown these games, and the momentum changes very rapidly down in, at this level. And uh, by no means are they end the game at 5-2. Big shot there by Tucker. Just high and wide, burn behind the net. The big defenseman from Harbour Grace looking to make something happen. Burn again, looks to shoot it out. Here come the Osprey in the center race area. Here's Kennedy, shoots it back in. Girl in the corner, but watched closely by Sparks. Kept in by Green at the line. He gives it up, and here's another three on one, Glenn. Three on one. Good defensive play by your Osprey, and Green picks up a loose puck. Looking for the man in corner, nobody there. Blizzard on the line change. Shot down, here comes Reardon. Again, shot back down. We're going to have an icing call against uh, the Blizzard right now and give the Osprey a chance to settle things down. It's 5.33 left to go in the second period of play. 5-2 is your score. Yeah, you can't go giving up these uh, two-on-ones and three-on-one rushes, Donnie. Sooner or later, that's going to be you. And, uh, you know, uh, the Blizzard are getting players stretching the ice, getting players in behind the Osprey defense, creating these great opportunities. But sooner or later, if you keep this up, uh, one of those plays are going to go in the net. Dawson taking the draw for the Osprey, unable to control it. Kept in at the line by Rideout. 
Shot back in. Here's the big defenseman again for your Blizzard. Looking to clear things out. Kept in at the line by Green. Team captain for this Osprey team. Looking to make things happen. I don't think he's been off the ice this period. Right out in front. Here's Crosby looking for somebody. Trying to get it through. And broken up again by the Blizzard. And here they come again, Glenn. Green back again. Trying to find a man up front. Here's right out on the four check. Clear back in by your Blizzard. Crosby going off on the line change. Green with the puck in the center ice area. Puts it up high and over the net. Yeah, and the pace has slowed down here a little bit uh, in this second period, Donnie. Uh, both teams seem to be uh, uh, in a little bit of a lull. Uh, feeling the legs probably first came back and uh, you go through these little lulls where uh, you don't feel good and the legs start to feel a little bit uh, a little bit weak and underneath you. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how the weekend goes on, how, uh, how well these two teams can go three three games in three days in less than 72 hours. They're just trying to find their legs now, as you said, Glenn. They've been off the ice in game situations for a while, but they're young, they're in shape, they're all, to both teams well coached. So we look for this uh, this series to go, uh, you know, some wins for both teams, and one is going to get two out of three in my prediction, and there's Mr. Hustle again. Nearly got behind the defense that time. It was nearly a good play. Uh, Lange just couldn't chase it down, but uh, great effort again uh, to uh, create a stretch pass. And the puck comes all the way back, and it's a face-off back in the Osprey zone to the right of uh, goaltender Curry. King to take the draw against Tucker. King wins the draw back to the point. Looking for the long shot. Doesn't get through. Osprey looked to put it in the corner. Here's Byrne. He bumps his player. Looking for Laundry up front. And here come your Osprey. Looking for Laundry. He's down the right side. One-on-one -on -one against Cody. Takes the shot. Stopped by Hillier. Looking to keep it in, but nobody there. Tucker makes a nice little move, and here come the Blizzard, three on two, setting things up. Volke is on the right. Volke goes back to the slot, and again, good save by Curry to keep things going. An opportunity again for your tri pen Osprey to clear things out. And here comes Tucker. He's got laundry again with him. Goes one on one. Osprey makes some line changes, getting some fresh legs in there. Harris back at the point. Tries a long shot, looking for the man in front, they score! Harris makes the shot from the point, Donnie goes off young and uh, goes behind Ilya. And we have a 5-3 game, Don. As I said, momentum changes pretty quick. Because he said you can't score if you don't shoot the puck. You, well, if you don't shoot the puck at the net, it's not going to go in. So, got to keep shooting the puck and good things will happen. Well, that's a big break that they need right now with 3.24 left to go in the second period of play. It makes the game 5-3, Glenn, as you said, and we've seen in our previous broadcasts. And it can happen in a short period of time, these yep. games. And, you know, a goal for, a goal against can either take it out or certainly lift your spirits up. And that, that's what the Tripen Osprey and their staff, Nick Saunders, they were hoping right now just to get back in the game, hopefully close it at 5-4 uh, or better before this period. Yeah, and... Uh you notice that the Blizzard came right back out with their big line, Donnie. After that goal, they kept brought uh, Loveless, Hawkins, and Toole back on the ice. And the Osprey counter with their big line of Kennedy, Reardon, and Sparks. Smith hit, hit Kennedy. Kennedy pushed off. Still looking to make things happen. And here come your Blizzard again with Smith. Looking for Loveless through the middle. Smith bumped off the puck. Loveless finds the man in front. And he's got a Hawkins coming up through the slot. Like you said, Glenn, this is the big lineup. Pass behind Kennedy. They're going to have to clear the zone. There's Sparks in the center ice area. Golden opportunity for your Osprey. Some pushing and shoving again. a little feisty down there at times, Donnie, a little feisty. Uh, Kennedy and Brothers giving a little bit of push and match, but uh, uh, nothing too serious. And uh, we've got a face off now to the uh, left of Hillier. And the Osprey bring out their second unit, and so, uh, so does the Blizzard. 
Well, you know, I'm wondering about Dawson on your Troy Penn Osprey. I haven't seen a lot of him tonight. Last game he played, uh, he was a spark plug for this Osprey team, and uh, he must be injured or something and getting back into it because he's not seen a lot of ice time tonight. No, uh, the Osprey have gone down basically to two lines here in the second period, and uh, the third and fourth lines here haven't got a whole lot of ice time. Osprey in again on the four check. 2.03 left to go in the second period of play. Burn with the line shot, looking for the inflection in front. Good save by Hillier. Here's Wally giving it back to the point to Walsh. Walsh looks to keep it in. And here they come with a two on one. We got right out in front trying to get it through. Unable to. Gives it back to the point to Walsh. He'll cross ice pass probably to Burn or shoots it back behind the net to right out. Right out. Unable to control it. And here come your Blizzard again in the center ice area. Good defensive play by Walsh. Gives it up to right out. Right out on able control is picked up by McGuire. McGuire just up the wing to Kelly. Kelly loses control but gets it back. Looks for the man off, out, outside. And here's Landry giving it back, hoping to set things up. We've got 121 left to go in this second period of play. If you're joining us late, your East Coast Blizzard and Blue leads your Tri Pen Osprey by a score of 5 3. Here's Crosby. He finds some skating room in the center ice area. Looks to pass it through. In on the four check is Landry. Takes a shot, bad bounce, and Landry knocks it loose, and I'm sure that'll bring a, a few people around, but Cro Crosby plays the good one on that. Keep Landry clear of it. They don't want a penalty with 102 left to go in this second period of play. They're only down two, lots of time to come back, and lots of time for the Blizzard to keep control. Yeah, and they've got an offensive zone to face off right now. Uh, Osprey have had a little more uh, possession in the offensive zone the last 10 minutes of this period, Donnie. Created some chances, and uh, if they're lucky, they might get back and get another goal here at the end of the period, make it 5-4, going into the third. Tucker in on the draw, he loses it to the Blizzard. Blizzard back in their own zone. On the four check here, Osprey, they pick up the puck, cross ice pass to Harris. Harris shoots it in the corner, where it's picked up by Landry. He's being watched closely. Here's some fighting in front, Glenn. We don't see the gloves drop the very often in this league, Glenn. There's a lot of emotion, but Young, gloves still on. He was taking control now. Don't be interested in what the calls are here, Glenn. Young is certainly uh, certainly a pepper pot on, uh, on this Osprey team. He's always uh, creating a little bit of havoc, and uh, he doesn't mind mixing it up, Donnie, uh, at all. And uh, he draws some penalties and takes some penalties. Just checking with our uh, cameraman if we can go back and look what happened on that in front of the net. There was some pushing and shoving. Glenn I, think, and all uh, of a sudden I think Young uh, got the got to the goaltender, uh, got uh, knocked over the goaltender, and uh, and then the uh, then the defenseman uh, came to uh, the, his goaltender's aid. Well, a very big 48.6 seconds. We see what the calls are going to be. We might have a double minor on one and minor on the other. We're going to see how the officials read it. You know, the gloves came off and there were some punches thrown by the Blizzard player. So we'll see what the referee and Reardon over there is well, assistant captain to find out what it is. I think Young is going to go uh, for the night, Donnie. Looks like it, maybe. Maybe not. Referee Sims is at the box here trying to get it straightened out. All we see is the end result when it goes up on the clock, Don. So we're not really sure uh, what the what the call is going to be. Uh, there is some conversation uh, with. Uh, there it is in front, Glenn, on a replay. We'll just pop that up right now. We can see some pushing and shoving. And officials come in and they get Young away, and he carries away with the, the player from the Blizzard's helmet. And uh, you know, all right, a bit of emotion here shown by the young players on both teams. 48.6 seconds left, and. Uh, Man, this is a big face-off for your Troy Penn Osprey. <laughs> Looks like the Osprey got a power play out of a Glenn. It appears that way. Laundry, puck in the corner, looks cross ice pass behind the net to Crosby. They've got lots of time with 40 seconds left. Here's Green. Over to Sparks, looking for the man in front rear, and he deflects it to himself. Back to the point, again to Green. 30 seconds left to go, over to Crosby, back to Green, got a man in front. 
Hillier looks to control it. Nice play there Back by Gurley. Get that puck behind the net, Danny. Back to Green again. He's unable to get it through. Still time. They got to. Laundrie's got to carry it and dump it in and hopefully they can come up with a good play by Laundrie. He's going to get a shot away. He gives it to Reardon. Back to the point to Sparks. He tries a shot just wide. And a good save there to hold it by Hillier. We've got point two seconds left to go in the second period of play. And again, some pushing and shoving in front of the net. And uh, that's Marshall and Reardon. Reardon is speedster with the good hands. He scored a goal here in this game for your tri pin Osprey. And again, some pushing and shoving. Both teams playing for the pride on the front of the jersey, the name on the front, not on the back. Here you go. The officials like to get the puck drop, get these .2 seconds over. And the team is to be gone back to the dress rooms and get it started again. So that's it, Glenn. After two complete here from the Danny Cleary Harbor Grace Community Center, your East Coast Blizzard lead your tri pen Osprey by a score of 5 3 in what's been a very entertaining hockey game so far. Certainly has. It's been a good two periods of hockey. Uh, the Blizzard have cut, their, cut the deficit to two. Uh, and uh, we're looking at a, a good third period, Donnie. Should be a very competitive two, third period. Osprey coming out with a power play for a minute and 12 seconds. And uh, with a goal there, puts them right back into the game and should make for a, for a very exciting finish. And they got eight or 10 minutes rest now to get the top players ready for that power play. We'll be back shortly to start the third period of play. Don Coons, Glenn Littlejohn.
And welcome back for the third period of the game between the Tripan Osprey and the East Coast Blizzard. Blizzard leading 5-3, and we're live here from the Danny Cleary Harbor Grace Community Center. Glenn Little John Don Coombs with you this evening, and on the out-of-town scoreboard, the Western Kings and the Central Impact are in Cornerbrook tonight, and after the second period of play, Don, they're tied at 3-3. Some exciting hockey there out there in the West Coast, Glenn, and exciting hockey here at the Danny Cleary Harbor Grace Community Center. Been a great game so far. Uh, Troy Penn Osprey, quick start, and the Blizzard came back, and the Blizzard stayed strong, and the Osprey come back. Some penalties by both teams, you know, that gave them some opportunities. Right now, we've got 112 left to go on the power play for your Osprey, and a big penalty, uh, a kill for the Blizzard, but a big power play coming up for your Osprey. If they can get within one, as you said, this league, you know, in a matter of moments, things change, and you can score a lot of goals in this league. There's a lot of offensive power out there, and that's what the Osprey will be looking for, and I'm sure the Blizzard coaches, uh, told their players, boys, settle in, don't be getting in the late stuff because you're always going to get caught. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a game here where uh, momentum swings uh, change very rapidly, Don, and uh, if the Blizzard can score, uh, I'm sorry, if the Osprey can score in this uh, with a minute with a minute and 12 left in the power play, we could have an old new ball game here, and uh, as you've said, the game has gone back and forth, and that's not strange for this level of a hockey, and, uh, but we've had a, it's been a Fairly intensive here, too, uh, Donnie. Both teams are going at it pretty hard out there tonight. Well, you know, we want to see that. We want to see entertainment. Uh, they're giving 100% all the time. And, you know, thanks to David Sims, we're able to live stream this to uh, our viewers at home. And uh, we thank David for doing that. But, you know. David we, tries to keep the two of us on the straight and narrow, Don. Yeah. And, that, <laughs> and that's right. He got a full-time job at that. But, you know, we're here the weekend. We're, you know, we've got minor hockey here all day tomorrow. We've got uh, these boys, these teams. Young men back on ice at 5 o'clock tomorrow, folks. If you're in the area, anywhere, and you're available, drop by and see the talent that's on the ice tomorrow at 5. And then we finish off tomorrow, Saturday, with a hockey day here at the Danny Cleary uh, Harbor Grace Community Center with the CB Stars back on ice after a long layoff, too. We expect to see the same thing from the CB Stars, Glenn. Some rust coming off, and, uh, you know, it's the same thing as uh, these young men had. The laundry is up high right now looking for a, a break on the power play. And here comes Lara Cross Ice Pass. Here's Green again. He logged a lot of ice time in the last five minutes of that game. Shoots it in. Laundry along the boards. I don't know if this young man knows how to stop. It's just he is 100% he's 100% speed, 100% determination, 100% of the time. He's got, uh, he's got a great motor. Here's Crosby looking for Laundry behind. He's looking for a man in front. He's got Reardon in the high slot. And he's got Green at the point. Gives it back to Green. He's unable to control it. That'll kill off the power play. Teams are back at even strength. And here's Sparks down the right wing. He's got Reardon. Sparks again looking for Crosby in front. Unable to get it through. But kept in this time by Green. And the Blizzard will look to start things off. Here's Garland. Long pass in the off wing. Sparks goes for the line change. Over to Tool. Tool to Loveless. Part of that big three, Glenn, that you spoke about so, uh, so often during this game. Yeah, and uh, they jumped down right quick. Uh, down right when, as soon as the penalty was over, they... Uh, the Blizzard weren't lying, getting them on the ice uh, for for a shift. And uh, the Osprey, again, nearly got caught with uh, those uh, power play people out there for a little bit too long. But it's a, a good start for both teams. Big time and a big period coming up here. And these teams are going to be back at it again tomorrow. We look for a little bit, uh, Glenn, uh, whoever loses tonight, a little bit of vengeance tomorrow. And whoever wins tonight, a little bit of bragging rights for tomorrow. So it's going to make for an exciting day. Come out and watch it, folks. It's $5 to get in, and you're going to see these top major uh, major players in the province playing. Uh, opportunities galore for these young players, uh, both here and uh, on the West Coast this weekend. Go out and support them. And again, Glenn, thanks for the sponsors of these teams and uh, for our local Tri-Pen Osprey. It's the uh, Brookside Service Station uh, OK Tar team, and uh, I don't know who the sponsors are. The other ones you would know, but uh, you know, without the sponsors, this wouldn't happen. And uh, it gives these young men an opportunity to uh, to get involved in their community, to play hockey at a high level, and it wouldn't happen without them. So, thank you to each and every one of them, all the teams in the in the province. And we got another penalty call, Glenn, right here. Yeah, it looks like the uh, Blizzard are going to go on the power play. Wiley has gone to the box here. A little bit of a tussle down in the down in the corner. Uh, that we didn't get to see, Don, and uh, Wally is going to go and sit for two minutes. Who's going to the power play? But you were talking earlier about the sponsors. It's not only the major sponsors either, Donnie. Both these teams have uh, individual sponsors. Most of them have uh, 
have sponsored jerseys, that type of thing, and to all the sponsors for all our teams in the league, uh, we, it's much appreciated. So Glenn, as I look over to the penalty box, and uh, the player just went in, Young is still in there, so he must have got a misconduct, the boys besides, right? So the, the referees... I, I, I would think they got uh, tens, Donnie, if yeah. they're still in the box, yeah. Here's Garland at the point for your blizzard. Long shot, looking for the man in front, shot wide. An opportunity to get it out right now. The Osprey set up the box, kept in at the line by Garland. He's walking the blue line, gives it off. Here's Kelly, he finds room to shoot. Good save again by Curry. Again, kept in at the line, but he did big defenseman. And Glenn, this uh, blizzard team, their defensemen are certainly big. They certainly are. They, they, they've probably got the, the strongest defense score, one to six in the league, Donnie. And, uh, they do a really good job of moving the puck. Uh, they're agile, they're big, they're strong, and uh, they certainly uh, they certainly are, are the uh, strength of this uh, Blizzard team, I believe. Without a doubt, and here we go with the face-off going to be the right of goaltender Hillier, and uh, Blizzard's still on a power play. They'd like to win this face-off in a hurry, get it back, and uh, but the Ospreys ball that, and here's Laundry with a chance to shot, shot it in the corner. In on the four check is Crosby. Blizzard right now got a chance with Hawkins to move it up the left wing. Hawkins finds some skating room along. Cross ice pass. He's over to Loveless. Loveless looks for Hawkins. He finds him again. Blizzard content to shoot it back in. Curry comes out to play it. Leaves it there for Green. Green is bumped off the puck by the Blizzard on the four check. Loveless in front, unable to control it. Get the shot away. Good defensive play by Crosby again. Crosby gets it ahead, and here's a break for Laundry. He's in alone. He tries a shot. He scores! Laundry. Great effort by Crosby on the blue line to say break, get that breakaway. Donnie worked really hard to put that, push that puck forward, and Laundry made no mistake once he got uh, got his wheels going and great shot, and it's 5-4 Blizzard. He showed that speed again, Glenn, that we spoke about so often in the game. He's uh, he's totally hustling. He stays out again right now. Golden opportunity. You score on the PK. Good, good job by Crosby to get up to him. You know, that's got to take a little bit of wind out of the sale of Hawkins and his team. And they trail now 5-4, but they still got 39 seconds to kill off this penalty. So right now, they want to be reckless, get the penalty killed off, and they've got 16 minutes then to get this game straightened away. Certainly do, Donnie. It's a, it's a new ball game here. Now if they can kill the rest of this uh, the remainder of this penalty, uh, it's a 5-4 game, and they'll have uh, about 15 and a half minutes to get, a, get, a, get the game tied. Blizzard in there looking for the man in front. They find him. Nobody there. Curry steps up to the plate and comes out and directs it back into the corner. Again, back to the point. Here's Garland. He crosses the line over to Brothers. Big save again by Curry. That's two big saves in the last 30 seconds, Donnie. Cleared all the way down, that's going to icing call, but the good part of it is they can get their players off the ice, get refocused, get back into it again, and uh, they're back at even strength, man. As you said, we got 15, 27, they got lots of time to get this straightened away. Blizzard going to look to keep things under control as they got Chubbs, Fisher out there right now. A couple of, couple of game-saving saves uh, there, Donnie, potentially by Curry in the last 30 seconds of that power play uh, to keep this game at 5-4, to four, so you got to give him a lot of credit. Curry and uh, Hillier have had good games, Glenn, uh, the two keepers of both ends. And again now, here's Hillier comes out to play it up, and they look for the man in front, and able to get it through. Good forecheck by your Osprey, but here they break out. Down the wing, the off wing, it's the Blizzard player. He makes a nice move trying to get in, and Curry just deflects it in the corner. Blizzard pick up the puck again, back to Smith at the point. Smith takes a long shot. Curry will take no chances, and he'll hold it for a faceoff. With 15 minutes exactly left to go in period number three. The score 5 4 for the East Coast Blizzard over your Tri Pen Osprey. Yeah, and uh, Don, it's been a good first five minutes for the Osprey. Uh, Short handed goal to get them uh, to within one of the Blizzard. And a big face off coming up here to the right of Curry. Osprey cleared out, cleared all the way back. Osprey took advantage of that uh, face off change, Donnie, to get their big line out against. Uh, the third line of the blizzard. Let's see if this uh, they can take advantage of it. Green steps up. He finds some room. He's got Kennedy with him. Kennedy can't pick it up. And a, the blizzard break out again. Here Sparks in center ice area. Gives it up for Kennedy. Good play by McGuire. Keep Kennedy off the puck. It's he clears the zone. Offside is going to be called. 
Kennedy was caught inside, Glenn. They had to clear the zone. Yeah, couldn't clear the zone. Braden was going and I uh, couldn't stop. Offside. Good call by the linesman. Face off outside Wizard blue line. Sparks look to take the face off. He wins the draw cleanly, gives it back to Green. Green is out with Harris on the point. Got Sparks in the middle with Kennedy and Reardon. Here's Kennedy, gives it up to Sparks. Too far ahead, unable to control it. Good on the forecheck, he gets loose puck. He takes the shot. Good save by Hillier, and he'll hold it for a face off at 14-10. Left to go in period number three. Not often when Sparks is on the ice, Donnie, uh, that, that, they, that the Osprey don't create a scoring chance. Uh, Sparks is a tremendous player, great hands, and uh, he creates a lot of offense for the Osprey, much like uh, uh, Tool does for the Blizzard. Smart players, Glenn, smart players. They certainly are. And, and it's nice to see these young players uh, producing at this level of hockey and uh, giving it for all, and what a show they put on here on uh, our TV station. Again, the, uh, the Blizzard break out with Mitch Moore, long cross ice pass. Noble is going for net, tries to find some room, deflected off for there. And here's Mitch Moore behind the net. He loses control. Osprey with a chance now to clear it out De deep back to Garland in the Blizzard zone. Garland finds Mitch Moore again on the wing. He's content to shoot it in. Curry will take no chances. He'll play it and leave it there for Harris. Harris behind his own net, being watched closely by the Blizzard player. And here come your Osprey again, unable to clear it out. Kelly picks up the loose puck. The Osprey, after giving it away, good play there by Tucker to get it back. Tucker's bumped along the boards, and here's Landry out there again. Tucker with Landry, but Noble steps up. Tries a shot. Good save again by Curry. Curry's played a strong game for these Tri-Pen Osprey. He certainly got more confident as the game got, has gone on, Donnie. He uh, looks very, very comfortable down there now. Uh, struggled in the early moments of the game, but uh, Curry has certainly settled in down the, between the pipes here for the Osprey. And here's Kelly. Looking for the man, cross ice pass to Tucker. They look to get something going. Good defensive play by Walsh. Keep him off the puck. Crosby picks up a loose puck, gives it back to Walsh. Walsh ahead to his teammate. Wally, he's on the wing, shot. Oh, big save by Hillier, got a piece of it. That was labeled top corner, Glenn. Yeah, yeah, he was looking top shelf and uh, Hillier got a piece of it uh, off the blocker and out of play. And we'll have a face off uh, outside the zone, so. A little confused on that thing. Because I certainly thought the puck went off Hillier that time, Don. From our angle, it looked like it went off, but he just wants to get it up and get it over. And here's a big defense from Broders again, back behind his own net. He clears over to McGuire. McGuire lives it up for and lets it go. Icing is waved off. Walsh back to play it. In on the four check is Tucker. Walsh, good spire pass over to Crosby. Crosby looks to come up the wing, looking for some support. He finds some skating room, plays it off the boards. In looking for the puck himself. And up and over the net this time. Good, good speed, good play by both teams, Glenn. And uh, we've got 12-21 left to go in period number two. Three. Period number three, Donnie. 12-21 left to go. 5-4. East Coast Blues it over to Tripan Osprey. It's alive from the Danny Cleary Harbor Grace Community Center. Uh, these teams, as Donnie has said, are back at it again tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock. And that game will be followed by a game between your Conception Bay CB Stars and I believe the Clarenville Caribou's done? Correct. Some new players and some old players to play with each other and play it against each other. So it's going to be some senior hockey here tomorrow night. But uh, we encourage you to come out. It's all days modern hockey tomorrow, uh, which and it starts eight o'clock tomorrow morning. These teams are back on at five. You know, it's five dollars to come in and see great entertainment, and then your CB stars are in after. And again, I'd like to thank, thank David Sims for the great job he's doing on broadcasting this live stream. Man, it's a pleasure for me and you to be here as always to try to help out and showcase our young players in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Anytime we can come out down and help and volunteer and do, and do good for the kids, uh, we're certainly, uh, I'm certainly here to do it, and you are too. And uh, uh, with David's help, he makes us look good, and all we got to do is talk. We got no trouble doing that. Good save again by Curry, Glenn. Yeah. He's keeping his team in and giving him a chance. They trail 5 4 with 11 26 left to go in this third period of play. Sims, the referee, watching everything closely. Teams are settled back in, playing some good hockey right now. Bit rusty at the start for both teams, and now they're starting to come through, and being young and in shape is starting to show for both of them right now. Again, on the forecheck, here's the Osprey with a chance. Shot is high and wide. Both teams have had some good chances here in the first half of the third period, Don, and uh, both goaltenders uh, have looked fairly sharp. The Osprey got an early goal, uh, a short-handed tally. Uh, they get themselves within one, and uh, since then, both goalies have made some outstanding saves. 
And we see now that the Osprey have brought out their big line again, Reardon, Sparks, and Kennedy with an offensive zone faceoff. Reardon is a very, uh, very talented, uh, skilled player. Glenn, uh, you know, he moves the puck well. He's got good hands. He's in control of his body at all times and just knows how to play the game. Yeah, uh, Reardon is one of those players, Don, you go out there, you, you, uh, you don't, you may not call his name all night long, and you look at the score sheet, and he's got three points. And uh, but he's a very smart, intelligent hockey player. Uh, if I, if, if I would say one thing to uh, the Osprey, they need to keep it on the ice. I uh, was looking at the stats today, and he leads the team in penalty, penalty minutes. Uh, players of uh, that talent need to be on the ice and not in the box, Tom. Yeah, that's being young and emotional, and that will come with maturity also. As he's, he's certainly a star in this league, and. Uh, only going to get better. Certainly is, uh, but for his team, they need him on the ice. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, if I was a coach, I'd be certainly talking to Christian and saying, Christian, we need you on the ice. You're, more too, you're too valuable, uh, and any time you spend in the box, that's not good for us. Bird is bumped. He's down. Here come the Osprey. That's Kennedy again. Burn got bumped, and he's down on the ice. And Kennedy picking on the bigger player there from the, the blizzard. Not sure what happened there, Don. Did you see that? Yeah, he was bumped from behind, but uh, probably his head hit off the, the boards. Uh, Glenn, as the players get down around him, and uh, the officials are there. There was no calls as uh, David Kennedy, the trainer, is coming out to, to see what, what was on the go or how he's feeling. He hasn't moved a uh, lot, Glenn, since he went down, so we certainly hope, and uh, I know his mom is here tonight, Brenda, and she's certainly concerned about Cameron, and surely he's going to be okay, and that's the way we have to look at it right now. Certainly is. He's moving his feet down. Uh, you know, sometimes you just got to take a moment, get composed. He just rolled over by himself. So hopefully uh, Cameron is all right and uh, he uh, does nothing too serious. Got the helmet off, Glenn, so. Yeah. Might have a little cut. Round of applause for him. He got bumped playing and uh, I'm not sure if he's lost a tooth down or he bit his tongue. Yeah. Could have been uh, could have been either or. Just a snap of the head, that's all. His, yeah. his players come over with his stick and everything, and we wish him all the best. David Kennedy, the trainer coming over, assistant coach, as Reardon drops over his equipment to him, and they hope to have uh, the big defenseman Cameron Byrne back uh, as soon as possible because you don't want to be down one of your big D with 10-14 left to go in the third period of play when you trail by a score of five. Four. Officials there on the play at that time, no, uh, no dirty play, no penalty call, just uh, I think he might his head might have popped back or something, and as you say, Glenn may have lost a tooth or a bit his tongue, but unfortunately he's gone now. We'll try to get an update for our viewers out there as soon as we can. Here's Landry in on the four check. Green, the big captain, the big defenseman, going to have to pick up the play and play some ec extra minutes. I don't know many, how many extra minutes he can play, Donnie. He's yeah. played an awful lot of minutes already tonight. And uh, he has, somebody's got to pick up Burns time, and I'd say the captain is going to be seeing a lot of it in the Glenn. He's played, I, a, he's, he's played a steady game here all night tonight, and here's Wicks down left wing. He's in. Green is forced him outside. He shoots. He scores. He scores high over Curry's shoulder. Cur Curry seemed to be fooled on that shot. Looks like Curry was full on that shot, and uh, that's a big goal with 9:42 left. Uh, Wicks came down the left side and uh, put it over to put it over the blacker shoulder, and it's uh, it's a 6-4 uh, lead for the Blizzard. Yeah, I think he's feeling uh, the pain in that one, Glenn. His head is down. He's hanging his head. It's a goal he figures he should have had, yep. right? Right. Probably should have. And sometimes, uh, Don, it happens with, with goalies with goalies today too, uh, in the butterfly position. Sometimes when you're going to the butterfly, you're going down a little bit early and the puck goes over your shoulder and it happens to get into the top of the net. And that might have been the case in that one right there. Yeah, he feels as we look back on him right now and we look down to ice at him, Glenn, and he's not on the screen. He's uh, he's upset with himself, but he's made a lot of big saves tonight. Certainly not a, that's not a game changer, but it gives the Blizzard a 6-4 lead halfway through his third period of play. Burn is out. Curry got to pick it back up. Forget it. You know, he's had a strong game. He's kept his uh, Osprey team in it. And uh, they'll get recharged. They'll get this one back for him. 
There's Dawson. I mentioned Dawson. Never got a lot of time. Landy's back on base now, and he seems to be one of them players to make something happen in a hurry. Puck is shot in. Handled there by Curry. It's Whalen. Hope to get it out. Got the man in front. Unable to get it through to Kelly. And here again, opportunity to clear it out for the Osprey. Kept in by the Blizzard at the point. And here they come. Here's Crosby looking for Dawson in the center. Dawson in on the four. Check with Crosby. Broken up there in the Blizzard. Back in the own zone. Clear it off the boards. Walsh chips in to try to keep it in. He's got Crosby and Dawson with him. There's Harris just shoots it in. Meant to give the line change to your Osprey. And here's a golden opportunity for the Blizzard. But back on the quick line change comes Kennedy. He's got Reardon Wallace with him. Big save by Curry again. Man was down, Glenn. I don't know what the call is going to be. I think uh, I think Walsh is getting it for for uh, a little shove from behind Donnie. It might be uh, it might be uh, cross checking. Maybe uh, Walsh gave uh, the Blizzard player a little bit of a, a push there, just uh, just on the bottom of the circle. And I think the referee caught him for cross checking. Maybe that's going to be a hard one for the Bl uh, for the Osprey right now. 8:22 left to go in this third period of play. They trail by two. And it put the Blizzard on the power play, and the faceoff going to be the left of goaltender Curry. So a big, uh, big power play, big fa faceoff coming up right now, Glenn. And sure. then uh, Osprey win it, and the screen back behind his own neck gives it off to his partner on defense, Harris. He shoots it all the way down the ice. Not sure what the call was, Glenn. Well, no, no, uh, Danny, we missed it. Uh, we thought that Walsh was going by himself. And there's offsetting double. Uh, there's an offsetting minor. Uh, the the Mount Pearl player as well uh, got uh, got two minutes, so the the faceoff is now at center ice. Some confusion. No. And uh, Blizzard got five players on, so they are on the power play. Yeah. I don't know what the call was. Still, uh, I don't know what there's some confusion. The officials are going over to get it straightened away. Yeah. Not sure what is happening here, Don. And there's no, uh, because they, they don't announce nothing, so we're trying to pick nope. it up and give it to our viewers. Yeah. But there was a penalty that went out to uh, Tripen Osprey. We're not sure what it was, and uh, they shot the puck down the ice. And uh, I guess somebody thought it was icing, Glenn, and they're going to start it back at uh, center ice. Yeah, That's I, the only thing that the I can figure out. The only thing I can out. see is that the uh, linesmen saw uh, one, both players in the box and thought it was a uh, even strength situation, but the uh, the Ospreys certainly were, were on the penalty kill. Yeah, Glenn, I'm thinking that's what it was. It would be fair to everybody. They bought it back to center race. So we've got 8.25 left to go with power play, uh, two minutes on the power play. So uh, if I were Coach Saunders, I would be arguing that it should be some time off the power play right now because it's starting to roll in. So yeah, and I even if the officials made the, the that, wrong call. That, that's a little confusing, but it's at center race, and we'll see how it goes. But there's no time off the clock, and the face-off, the original face-off is in the zone. So uh, that, a little strange here. Yep. Anyway, the officials know more about it than I do. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll give them credit for that. <laughs> and here come the blizzard. They've got Tucker moving up the left wing. He's being watched closely by Young. Young is back out on the ice. Offsides call against the Blizzard. Glenn by the looks of it right now, and the faceoff going to come outside the blue line to the right of goaltender Curry with 8.13 left to go in period number three. The game has uh, slowed down here considerably, Donnie, in the last few minutes. Uh, feels like we've had a lot of whistles, and uh, and uh, the pace of the game is certainly slow. And in the four, check is Wally against Garland. and Garland gives it up to Brothers. Brothers looking for the long pass up on the wing to Tucker. King is up on the high slot. Noble is at the point along with Garland. They shoot it in, just kept in at the point by Garland. 7.52 left to go in the third period. 1.23 left to go in the power play. Green looks to clear it out and able to get it through. Back to Garland at the point. Does a good job of keeping it in. 
And but uh, Osprey cleared out. They'll set up. Young is out after serving a 10 minute misconduct earlier on. He's got some fresh legs. And here comes the Blizzard with King. He gives it off to Wicks. King goes for net. Noble cross ice pass to Garland. Garland looking for the man. Back Wicks back on the wing. Good box set up that, there by the Osprey. Here's Noble again looking to break down the Osprey. Curry steps up to the plate. Good uh, keeper he is and shot and clear down the ice. Killing off some valuable seconds with 45 seconds left to go in the penalty land. Yeah. Blizzard, uh, the Osprey that time had a very nice box and uh, kept the Blizzard to the outside and it's minimized the chances. Nice play there by Ryder. And here comes the Blizzard. Stepping up though, we heard uh, Osprey there. Got 25 seconds left to kill on the power play and the penalty kill, but Kennedy with a golden opportunity in front and able to capitalize. He's worked hard tonight for his team. And here's Tool. he's down the wing looking for the man in front, Hawkins. The big captain for this uh, East Coast Blizzard team. Got the man in front, tries a nice little pass and able to get it through. Back to the point is Marshall. Looks to control it over to McGuire. Three seconds left to go in the power play. That should do it right now as Osprey come back to full strength. Shot there, blocked by the own player, Tool. Got to go get those pucks. Now. Those 50-50 pucks, you got to be aggressive on them. And you can't just watch the blue guy go get the puck. Oh, and here it is, Laundry. Goal scorer tonight for your tri-pen Osprey. He's start, got them legs going again. Find some skating room. Looking to get in. He tries another high shot. Forces Hillier to make a save. And Hillier will hold it for a face-off. And again, after every whistle as usual now for some pu pushing and shoving. That's just emotions coming out and trying to set a message for tonight with this. 5.58 left to go. Glenn and a message for tomorrow. Now, whichever team it is is going to be around tomorrow and we're going to start this again. Certainly are, and uh, both teams are out there right now, and uh, the next goal is a big goal, Donny. Uh, if the Osprey can get one here uh, in the next minute or so, it's going to make for a great finish, and if uh, if the Blizzard score, I, I think it can kiss this one goodbye, but uh, uh, the next goal could be a very big goal in this game. Osprey looking on the four check is Tucker. He picks up the loose puck, looking for a chance just to shoot it on the net. Remember, you can't score if you don't shoot it at the net, and we saw that already tonight. Here come the Osprey again. In actual fact, two of the four goals from the Osprey tonight have been pucks directed at the net and gone off a body yep. in front, and it's ended up in the back of the net. So, never a bad idea to put the puck to the net. Osprey again, look to keep things in on the four check. We've got 5.26 left to go in this third period of play. 6-4 is the score. East Coast Blizzard and Blue leaving your tri pen Osprey, 6-4. Osprey gets some pressure on out. He want to keep it in. Green is out there wailing on the point. Tucker cross ice pass to Whale and he'll look to shoot. Trying high again on F Hillier. Good pressure put on by your tri pen Osprey and Hillier with no problem with that shot from Green from the point. 4.59 left to go in period three. Don Coombs, Glenn Littlejohn live streaming here for the Danny Cleary Harbor Grace Community Center. Yeah, Danny, uh, Hillier saw that one all the way, made a nice glove save off uh, off the good point shot from Green. And again, uh, the Osprey got to get some traffic to the net, got to get some uh, bodies in front, hope that it gets off a stick or so, hit somebody, get a, get a dirty goal, and uh, get right back in this game and make the, make the end uh, a great finish. Again, good four check by your Osprey, picks up the loose puck. That's Reardon tries a shot. Hiller steps up to the plate again. He's made some good stops here in the last number of seconds. And again, an opportunity for the Blizzard to clear it out. Good forecheck from the Walsh. Looking to keep things in. Reardon in there now. There's the big defenseman for the Blizzard. Just content to pick. And again, all cleared out. So does Osprey will have a clear zone. This gives Noble and them a chance. Here's Noble in on the off wing. He's been watched closely by Walsh. Walsh looks to clear it up to Crosby. Unable to get it to Crosby. Picked up at the line by Brothers. Shot back in, Harris behind his net. And here comes Crosby, he's got Sparks through the center. Gives it up on the wing to Reardon, Reardon to Sparks. Back to Reardon, Reardon is in the slot. He shoots, he scores! Nice delay, good move by Reardon. Big goal with 4.15 left to go in period three, Glenn. And as I was saying earlier, it's important that Reardon is on the ice. Reardon makes things happen. Nice play by Sparks to give it to Reardon. Reardon a little dipsy doodle and then nice shot to the low corner. And it's 6-5 Blizzard with 4.15 left on and we got a hockey game. Going to be a good finish. Good shot by Reardon, a little deep, delayed shot. Cut to 
Then you're by surprise, but it gives the, uh, his team an opportunity. And he wears that A for a reason. He's the leader on his team. And here's Green. He's out with Whale, and Whale's seen a lot more time since Byrne, Cameron Byrne, and we haven't got a report on that yet. Here's Sparks down the right side, content to shoot it in. He was watched by Marshall. Back in the center ice area again, Green with the puck. He's going to see a lot of the ice time in this 3.57 left to go in this third period as he has all game. And the Osprey have made a good push here in the last four or five minutes, Donnie. They, they've dominated the play. Puck's been in the uh, blizzard zone constantly, and uh, they've made a really good push in the last four or five minutes. There's Green again. Looking to set things up, up off the boards. No players here. Kennedy is in on the four check. Blizzard looked to clear it up. Here's Green again. Gives it back to Wally. Wally finds some skating room. He's out there with Kennedy. Wally moves up the right side. He's beating some players. Keeps on going in, taking Allen on a good play. Gives it to Wally. Kennedy back to Wally. Wally tries to go short side and unable to get it through. And the Blizzard looked to bring it out down the left side. It's Tucker. He loses control and Whalen just picks it up and shoots it back. Laundry again is out there. You'll see a lot of him in the next three minutes and six seconds. Period number three, they trail by one. They want to get one to get back in it in a tie game. That'll be a good way to start this weekend. Green being watched closely on the floor check, gets it up to Kennedy. Kennedy with an opportunity to clear it up, but broken up there by McGuire. He's committed to shoot it back in. Curry unable to control it. And Whalen, I look to start things off for this tri pen Osprey. Gives it to Reardon again. He's the goal scorer. Knocked off balance, but he gets it over to Laundry. Laundry shoots it up. In behind is Crosby. He leaves it for Reardon. Almost jammed it in the short side. Hillier had to be sharp. Walsh unable to control it. Gives it off to Laundry. And we know this man in motion is going to be moving pretty quickly. He's got Reardon in the center. Reardon, another nice, nice move to pick it up, and he takes a shot. And Hillier will hold it. No rebound on that one, Glenn. And Danny, I got to say, this is the most. Uh Engaged game I saw uh, Reardon in a long time. Uh, he seems to be engaged out there tonight. He seems to be involved in the play. And it's uh, really good to see uh, the Osprey need him. If they're going to be successful in the playoffs, uh, Christian Reardon is going to be a great part of that success. Very skilled player. Tall, lean, good with the puck, good head. And a lot between that helmet, buddy. I can tell you that right now. Just a smart hockey player, a good hockey sense. Close call. Curry holds it. Two don't ten left to go. Face off going to be the right of Curry. Uh, don't think he knew what I was doing, Donnie. No. But he's played. He's played strong tonight. He's had, he's he's had his moments, but he's played very yeah. well tonight. And uh, yeah, he, lo he lost sight of that one, but he got yeah. it back. The main thing is that he kept his team in it. He feels bad for goal number six, but that's part of it. That's part of the game. You're the last line of defense, and sometimes it happens. Crosby to take the draw. He's got Walsh out there with him, and he's got Reardon. Marshall keeps it in at the line for the blizzard. Back behind the net is Harris. Harris gets it up to Reardon. Reardon looking ahead. He's got it up through the center ice area. Finds the man. Crosby's the trailer. Battling for the puck. Here's an opportunity. Golden opportunity for Sparks. Officials right on the spot. No goal called. Push the puck to the net, Donnie. Push the puck to the net and good things will happen. And the Osprey nearly got one that time by just pushing the puck to the net. 153 left to go in period three. Your Osprey and White Trail, your Blizzard and Blue by a score of six five. Good period of hockey by the Osprey Glen. They've controlled the last 10 or 12 minutes and looks like we're going to have a timeout called. Coaches will go through the play. We see Nick Saunders, the head coach for your Tri-Pen Osprey, with the, the blackboard out there, the whiteboard out, and they're going to go through things now and try to get the, the team settling in and the you know, when is the goal tender coming out? All that got to come into play right now. Everybody's got to be on one page. Uh, it certainly has, Donny. Uh, but I think this is more about giving your big guns a break and giving them 30 seconds to catch the breath. They've already been out there about uh, about a minute, and uh, yeah, you want to you want to get this face off down, and you want to make sure that the goalie knows when he's coming. But at the end of the day, it's about giving your uh, giving your best players, the people you want on the ice, for the last uh, minute and a half, uh, a little bit of a rest. We got 153 left to go, six to five. East Coast Blizzard leading the Tri-Pan Osprey. Face off to the left of uh, goaltender Hilliard. And the Osprey has been making a push for the last seven or eight minutes here. And the net is empty, Donnie. And they got it set up, the play is set up. Big draw coming up now. 
153 to go, net empty, 6-5. In on the four checkers, Laundry looks for them in the corner. They've got 148, lots of time to get the puck and get possession, get a set up. Green is out at the point along with Walsh. Net is empty, Blizzard will look for one chance to clear it out. Shot down, racing going to be called, 139. Glenn, they killed off 10 seconds or so on that. And uh, again, a big face off coming up to the left of goaltender, the right of goaltender Hillier. Taking the draw is going to be Crosby. He's out with Reardon, Sparks, Laundry, Green, and Walsh. Crosby wins uh, the draw cleanly. Green takes the shot, deflected wide. Crosby with the puck in the corner. Laundry behind the net. They've got a man advantage. Shot, big save again. Never got through, but good, good play again. Shot down the ice, and we're going to have icing called again. That wasn't a very good play there by the by the East Coast Blizzard. They had the puck, they had possession. Uh, Loveless could have got the puck outside the blue line. Donnie maybe even got it far as center ice and uh, and averted the uh, the icing. But uh, again, uh, a little bit anxious. And with 121 left, face off to the left of uh, Ilya. Blizzard win the face off. They look to control it deep in their zone. 116 left to go. 6-5 is the score. Exciting hockey game here. And don't forget these same two teams are back at it five o'clock tomorrow. Here's Reardon, pass behind the net. Laundry trying to get a man in front, get a shot away. Walsh back to Reardon. Reardon cross ice pass to Green. He keeps it in. Over to Walsh. Walsh to try a shot. Long shot looking for a man in front. Here's an opportunity for your Blizzard. They get it up, look, look to center ice. And long shot again. And we're going to have icing called. That's three opportunities in a row, Glenn. And we've got 49 seconds, lots of time. Get, get to set away, get to play. The main thing right now is to win the faceoff. And yeah, main thing is, you know, win control of the puck and uh, win the faceoff. And again, there, Donnie, uh, going, for the, going for the goal instead of getting to the red line and throwing the puck deep, keep the clock ticking. The Blizzard need to keep the clock ticking, and uh, that uh, that didn't do it. Icing, faceoff again. Here's Crosby. He wins the draw. Blizzard looks to control it. Crosby battles hard in the center. Crosby passes over to Sparks. Sparks will try a long shot, doesn't get through. Blizzard again with a chance to clear it out, and they do. But this time, no icing, and here comes Green, the team captain trying to lead his Tri-Pen Osprey team. He finds the blue line, moves in on the off wing. They've got 27 seconds to get a goal right here. Green in the corner, gives it up to Reardon. Reardon back to the point to Sparks. Sparks will try a long shot, keep it low for the fight. Off the post. Off the post, good play. Reardon again, dipsily doodling. Nice play by Rear, and he gives it up, and here comes Blizzard. That could be it, Donnie. Seven seconds left, and a good four check, and a very entertaining game. Again, shot all the way in, and Hillier with no problem with that, folks. And that what a game of hockey we had here tonight at the Danny Cleary Harbor Grace Community Center. You're visiting East Coast. Uh, Blizzard defeated uh, your hometown Tri Pan Osprey by a score of 6 5. Some good hockey play tonight, Glenn. Some good defensive play, some good offensive play. And I think the Troy Penn Osprey, the last five, ten minutes of that game, dominated. Certainly did, Donnie. They pushed the game. Uh, they certainly made a good push there. A little unlucky there late in the game that they didn't get the tie tying goal. But uh, I think uh, both teams got their legs in the third period. And we're going to be in for an entertaining game tomorrow here at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock tomorrow. Danny Cleary, Harbor Grace Community Center. $5 admission. Come in and see the best uh, midget hockey players in the province, Newfoundland Labrador. Your very own Troy Penn Osprey taking on the East Coast. Blizzard. Glenn, going to be entertaining. Good night. Good night, folks. Thanks for having us over.